Hey guys, currently I'm in the Grove. It's a place out here in Texas, way out in Central Texas. And this place is considered a historic Texas museum. I mean, the actual town is a museum. So let's check it out. There's the old blacksmith right there, right next to the saloon. You got the post office and general store. Looks like the bank right over there. It's a Planner State Bank. Be cool if all these things weren't boarded up. But these are the original buildings restored. the saloon can't see inside and the blacksmith right next to it look Christmas lights are these the original ones can you see inside here So this must have been the sheriff. Look at this. It's just a wood building. This area. And right next door, would have been the barber shop right there. But of course you can't get in. I don't know if it's anything in the windows. Oh, I can't see anything. Everything's padlocked shut, so. So this was the main town where everything, you had the post office, you had the sheriff, the saloon, the blacksmith, the main town, the town square, Main Street. Similar to, I hate to say it, but Little House on the Prairie, where they had the main town and everybody lived outside. It never grew up. They say that at the peak, the population was 400. And as of 2000, it was 65. So I don't know if it's declined since then or not. There's the old well. I'm sure it's, they don't get water from it anymore. Right next to it, you got your great cactus. The town was founded in the late 1850s. And before long, had a few general stores, two schools that had a public school and a private Lutheran school. And it was doing pretty well for being a little small town. The town started to see its decline in the 1940s after being bypassed by Highway 36. And by 1948, the public school had shut down, as well as the building up of the Fort Hood. It forced a lot of farmers to find new work at other places, so they left the town. And then by 1962, the Lutheran school had shut down. Actually, it used to have a museum in here, but it was sold eight years ago, so. It's not open anymore. It's just like a warehouse in there.
There's another general merchandise. Hats and boots. This is pretty cool. Knowing that this place was from the 1880s. You don't see this kind of stuff in this good of condition. And, you know, it's usually all torn down by now. Can't see inside at all. Here's the St. Paul Lutheran Church. It was founded in 1883, and actually they still have services here. Now, I don't know if this was actually the church from 1800s. It might be, might not, but it doesn't look very, very new. This is it. It's further away from the town up the road, but so it says this is the second site of the church and this location was built in 1908. I stand corrected. Still it's pretty cool. Here's the inside from looking outside. original St. Paul Cemetery. It's a few miles up the road. But this was the cemetery for people that lived in the Grove. His mother born in 1839, died 1920. Can't even read this one. was born. There's a lot of unknown gravestones in here. So I guess they don't know who these people were, but they know there's somebody buried right around here. Pretty small cemetery for a small town. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. It only takes a second. Also hit that notification bell. It keeps you up to date with anything I do. And I will see you in the next video. The Grove. A Texas historical museum. Nestled in central Texas. It's basically a ghost town. A little quiet. Snapshot back in time.